Well, hello, Lenny Winterstrom with you. And we are reading Dr. Shad Helmstetter's 365 Days of Positive Self-Talk for Finding Your Purpose. That's what it's all about. We're here to help you find your purpose. And uh, on day 59, where there are 307 days left in the 2024, we are 16.12% complete with the year. So February 28th is pretty empowering, like all of Dr. Shad's self-talk phrases that are in her very empowering these passages. So yes, they're phrases, but they're passages for every single day of the year. So, and this is a special year, right? Because we have an extra day in the year. That's that's for February 29th. And so February, but today, February 28th, this is the passage for today. I am responsible for my place, my choices, and my direction in life. I know that what I make of myself and what I make of my life is up to me. So I set my course, I make good choices, I follow my path, and I take personal responsibility for every step I take along the way. I'm going to read that again because here's the thing that I have learned. And I was really good at playing the victim card. I don't know how I learned that. That was a program that I definitely had going for me but everything was everyone else's fault. Yeah, I could, it was so simple immediately if I was um, shortchanged at the store or just different things. I found myself, and it was really funny when I started taking responsibility for, my, for, for myself. I didn't realize how emp- empowering it is. I thought it was so much easier to blame others for things. And I found myself blaming people for stuff just, just anything. It was like, well, they just, they're just out to get me or they're out. I mean, that was, there was something, I wouldn't say my dad said it all the time, but there was something that was said when I was growing up that, um, it was always the man, you know, (laughs) the suit or whatever. Um, it was, it was interesting how, how we can see, how see ourselves as victims of something outside of ourselves and we're not those are programs we are totally responsible for ourselves and when we take responsibility oh my gosh a ruse how freeing and liberating it almost sounds like heavy it, at least it did to me and and I and I think from people that I've talked about and and coaching others and even when I was doing coaching for health it, the it was so easy to blame other people, situations, circumstances, meaning uh, your, your um, how you, where you were born, like how much money you had when you were born, the type of parents that you had, meaning if one was an alcoholic or one was always sick or one was a go-getter and very competitive. So now that uh, the child is very competitive and these things are all programs. They're all programs and I'm not saying they're all bad. But when those programs don't serve you, which 90% of our unconscious programs, and I'm talking about neuroplasticity here, which I am always talking about, that is, I mean, always, I mean, <laughs> meaning you can, neuroplasticity is your brain is constantly rewiring itself until you, until you take your last breath on this planet. So you can rewire your brain with programs that say, I can do this, I will do this, I'm doing this, and I am unlimited and nothing is going to stop me. And that was, this is what you find in Dr. Shad's books, everything, is that you have unlimited potential. There was a bug that came flying around and it's pretty chilly still here in the Colorado mountains. So, um, but anyway, so it was a surprise is what I'm saying, (laughs) to see a bug flying around. So, So my point is when you take responsibility for yourself, it's actually very, very liberating. And, and I now, what's well, been many, many years, um, but since I w- had that victim mentality, I still find myself every once in a while, it's like just this, this crazy little program because I do the self-talk. I listen to the self-talk app. I listen to that self-talk language every single day, at least twice a day. It, it definitely in the morning at the same time because that's how the, the brain works on the, the 24 hour clock. And um, because it's an earthly thing, right? And that's an earthly thing, time and 24 hours. And then um, before I go to sleep, and then I'll listen during the day if I need to pick me up or, 
or if I do, they're just something, it's actually a teaching library as well. It is definitely a language, yet it teaches you to be a quality person and, and how the how to, if you will. And so anyway, um, that this, this talks about that. These, so many of these passages talk about that in, in Dr. Shad's book. So let's read that one more time and just remember, because when it, when those pop up for me, being the victim, like, it's not they're out to get me anymore. They're, that's been long gone. But um, there, there might be just like this little shadow of an old pro program there that, you know, somebody did something to me. And then it's so quickly removed with, how do you know they did that to you on purpose? Or or whatever it is it's it's so infrequent that it's, it's difficult for me even to find an example of that um because it doesn't it's just like a shade it's like it just like a fleeting thought and then it's like that's your old program lenny that's not even true is it you're responsible so <laughs> it's really a beautiful uh, thing so i'm going to read february 28th i am responsible for my place my choices and my direction in life. I know that what I make of myself and what I make up of my life is up to me. It's up to you. Look, I'm not pointing. I'm going, <laughs> I'm not counting and I'm not pointing. I'm saying it's up to you. Okay, so I set my course. I make good choices. I follow my path and I take personal responsibility for every step. I take along the way. It is so liberating. It's so beautiful. It's so exciting. And I love you so very, very mucho. Yes, you can do this. I believe in you. You're awesome and amazing, and you are incredible. Shining my light to brighten yours. Ciao.